As we enter the evening, we open our hearts and minds to the presence of God, the wisdom of God. And now would you hear this passage of scripture from Psalm 120. In my distress, I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you? And what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrows with glowing coals of the broom tree? Woe is me that I am an alien in Mish- Mishak, that I must live among the tents of Kadar. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Today is Yom HaShoah, commemorating the murder of the Jews and other minorities during the Second World War. The word Shoah simply means desolation, destruction, or catastrophe. During the war, it is estimated that two million Jews were killed by the Einsatzgruppen troops in the Soviet Union. Three and a half million Jews were killed in the gas chambers of Auschwitz, Shelmno, Sobibor, Belzec, and Treblinka, and half a million Jews died in the ghettos of Eastern Europe of reprisal attacks, hunger, disease, and exhaustion. Six million in all. Millions more gypsies, Slavs, Russian POWs, the physically and mentally disabled, homosexuals, and others in minority groups perished. It was indeed a Shoah, a catastrophe. The Holocaust Memorial Day also allows us to acknowledge the repeated occurrences of genocide in places such as Cambodia, Rwanda, and Bosnia. Today we join with people all over the world to pray for an end to this type of destruction, born out of racism, anti-Semitism, and xenophobia. Today we pray for those who died when madness ruled the world and evil prevailed on earth. If we forget, the way is prepared for yet more holocausts, yet more Shoah. Therefore, we must never forget. Malay Rahimim, God full of compassion, is a prayer for the departed that asks for comfort and everlasting care of the deceased. Different versions exist for different moments, and the version for the Shoah, or Holocaust, can be found in the Reformed Prayer Book, Mishkan Tefillah. Listen to the translation. Fully compassionate God on high, to our six million brothers and sisters murdered because they were Jews, grant clear and certain rest with you in the lofty heights of the sacred and pure, whose brightness shines like the very glow of heaven. Source of mercy, forever enfold them in the embrace of your wings. Secure their souls in eternity. Adonai, they are yours. They will rest in peace. Amen.
Would you hear the scripture reading from Matthew chapter 5, beginning with verse 1? When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when the people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As Christians, we follow the example of Jesus in order to find the life, health, and peace that God intends for everyone to know. This wholeness of life brings with it certain responsibilities. The need for wholeness, healing, and restoration is always present in the world. Whatever the creed, race, color, or religious beliefs of individuals, Jesus entrusts the work of reconciliation to His people. We are expected to participate in the things that build people up, the things that bring consolation rather than desolation. The Holocaust Memorial Day reminds us of dark times when even basic survival was not possible for many. But it also reminds us of the piercing light of God, which will never be extinguished. It reminds us of a resilience of faith, which is beyond our understanding. Many of you will be familiar with this quote from German pastor Martin Niemöller, which appears on the United States Holocaust Memorial. First, they came for the socialist, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionist, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. For whom will you speak out? How will you speak? Consider these things as we listen to Eli Eli, a poem written by Hannah Zenas, who was murdered by the Nazis in 1944. It is sung by Sophie Millman.
Let us pray. Merciful God, you are our strength and our refuge. You are our hope when there is no hope. Throughout the ages, your people have so often sought to destroy one another. We have ignored your desires for us and acted out of ignorance and selfishness. Because of this, we fall on your mercy and seek your forgiveness. Instill in us a willingness to protect the weak, to stand up for those being persecuted, to honor our own faith and you by respecting the faith of others. On this day of remembrance, give us long memories that we may never forget what can happen when we lose sight of you. With sorrow for both our unfaithful actions and our sins of omission, we pray, Lord, have mercy Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, amen. Every year at 10 o'clock a.m. on Yom Hushoah, Israel comes to a stop when a siren is sounded around the country for two minutes. Even cars on the highway stop and drivers and passengers get out and mark the two minutes by standing still and honoring those who were killed in the Holocaust. After we conclude with our Gloria Patri, we invite you to step outside wherever you are and be still for two minutes as a tribute to those who were sacrificed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.